Okay, so today we're going to talk about something that comes up really often, and it is connecting text in Cricut Design Space. If you take a look at my phrase that I have up on my screen, you'll see that all of the letters are connected. It is in cursive, and it should be one line. So when you cut, it'll stay in one line. So we're going to talk about how to do that today, how to connect the text, and then what to do to make sure that when you cut it, it doesn't cut it as individual letters. It cuts it as one straight line. Um, the font that I chose is called Quarter Note, and I just chose that because it was in Design Space, so those of you who have Cricut Access can use this for free, um, and because it was nice and thick, so I think it'll help us to see a little bit better what we're doing. So first, I'm going to just delete this because we're going to start from scratch. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it up in two separate lines because we are going to be working with it. So here's my first line, my siblings, and then we're going to get a second line, have tails. I chose this phrase because I made a onesie with it the other day, um, so it was just in my mind. All right, so we're going to block it all off, and then I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger this way by selecting all of it and making and expanding it. It all stays the same size. Um, and then I'm going to move this up a little bit closer. So there's actually two ways that you can connect text, but one of them doesn't always necessarily work. Uh, and that just depends on the font and the letters. So the first one I'm going to show you is using your letter space tool up here. This right here can change the spacing in between your letters. Um, so if you see, if I press the up arrow, I can make the letters further apart. If I press the down arrow, I'm decreasing the size in between the letters and I'm bringing them closer together. So I'm just going to kind of watch it and see how the letters are coming together and how it looks. Now if you see some of these letters are coming together a lot faster than some other ones. So this is not the way you're going to want to see it later on. Obviously the I and the S are, you know, squished together. So that's what I mean by saying it works sometimes and not other times. Like the my looks good, parts of the siblings looks good, but this S and the I is not okay. So now that you've kind of brought the letters together, what you can do is click it, you can ungroup it, and then what I like to do is move groups of letters as a group instead of individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my arrow, I'm going to left click, drag this box all the way to the I, don't want to get the S included in that, but as you can see, I've got the I, B, L, I, N, G, S all selected, and I'm going to hold it down and slide it away. So now it's a much nicer space in between there. I feel like the B and the L are close together too, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to left click, make a box all the way to the L here, and then I'm going to pull that apart a little bit, and it looks a little bit nicer than it did before. Okay, so now on the second batch of letters, since we know that they don't really combine the way that you want them to, I'm just going to click it and I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup the whole thing. Like I said, I like to move groups of letters because if you move one letter at a time, then you're stuck. By the time you get to the S, all of your letters are here. Like all of your letters are going to be, you know, over here and then the S is all the way out there. It's really hard to keep them in a straight line. So what I do, again, I'm going to left click select all of this and then I'm going to slide that A all the way over to the H. Do the same thing again, select that whole box, slide the V with everything all the way to the A. Again, select the whole thing, slide the E over. This way everything kind of stays in a straighter line. You don't have to really drag one letter over a lot more than all the other ones. So I can put, and this way I have a lot more control than just changing the letter spacing. I can put these letters exactly where I want them to be. All right, let's connect that A and the I. Connect the L to the I. And now just the S. And we're going to slide that over and connect them. Okay, if you see the line here is a little bit weird because of the shape. It's a lot worse with the G and I'll show you what I do for that. There may be some other ways, but I'm just going to take a little shape. I'm going to take a square and we just have to wait for it to load. All right, so I have my square. I'm going to make it real small. All right, I'm going to drag that right over here to the G. I'm just going to eyeball it tilt it just a little bit so it doesn't cut off the other part of the G. 
and then I'm going to select both of those and slice. So what I did here is I actually just cut this little, oops, undo that. I cut this little tiny edge off the G and I'm gonna delete all of those things. So now when I slide that S over, it fits on there a lot nicer. It didn't have that bump that it had before. So now we have to work on actually connecting these letters so that when they print, or I'm sorry, when they cut, they cut as one line. And I really wanna show you how that is by, um, I'm just gonna group everything. Now grouping is not going to make these letters connect. And attaching is also not, it's still selected, I'm gonna attach them all, is not gonna make these letters connect and I'll show you. Um, if I change this color to white, you can really see that when this cuts, you're gonna have lines. This line is gonna cut here, it's gonna cut right here. So these letters are not going to be one continuous piece when you cut this out and that's not gonna make you happy. So this is the difference between attaching and welding. So I want you to see, look, it's very evident in the G here. And now both of these lines are actually gonna cut once you see, because if I, um, right now it's just showing you the layer that's on top, but so the S is actually gonna cut a little line into the G here too. So this is not what you want when you're printing. So this is after I've attached, now I'm gonna go to weld, watch what happens. So when I weld all these letters, all of those lines disappeared. You see, there is no line here between the G and the S anymore. This is all gonna cut as one piece. So it's really important that when you are connecting these, connecting letters like this, you need to make sure that you're welding at the end and then it's gonna cut as one piece. A good way to do that is to change your color to white and then see if those lines exist. Because when you're in the all black, and we'll go back to black right now, it looks the same whether it's welded or if it's attached. So please make sure that you are welding these letters together at the end. And this is my tutorial on how you connect text in our Cricut Design Space software. So please, um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you with your project. Thank you, bye.